good morning everybody so woke up this morning and we are on a red zone i'm here in the countryside where i live with my doggy yes she is my little luna she doesn't know she doesn't care she just wants to go out for a walk so what's the situation well first it's really sunny spring obviously is uh, on its way it's actually quite warm but let's talk about what's happening right now. So, woke up this morning with the news that Venice, and Venice not just the city of Venice, it's a province. The province is quite big, eh? it's quite a big area. So the province of Venice, the province of, come on, the province of Treviso, the province of Padova, and then the all of the Lombardy, and some of the provinces of Emilia Romagna, we have been put in quarantine. What does it mean? We are on a lockdown. What does this mean? It means that officially nobody can come in and nobody can go out. We'll go back to this. It means that we are not allowed to have any public or private, allegedly, assemblies or uh, <coughs> trying to obviously contain the uh, spreading of the virus, okay? So that means all the schools, all the museums, the cinemas, everything in theory should be closed. Turns out that shops can stay open as long as they can assure the people stay one meter distance from each other. Uh, the big shopping centers will be closed every weekend, but they obviously gonna be open all the other days. Restaurants and so on, can only be open if it can guarantee that they will have one meter distance. Okay, what does this mean? Uh, it means that uh, practically most of the people can only stay open until six and a lot of them, uh, you know, they're not gonna be paying nothing, no bills, because obviously people soon gonna stop going out because the money is gonna run out uh, if we're not working. So they're trying to tell us to contain the movements. So they're saying, yes, you can go out, stay in the fresh air, try not to stay in closed places. Totally get it, totally, totally, totally. I'm not arguing with the uh, impositions. What I'm arguing is that uh, one, how are they gonna go and uh, control this? Since uh, we already don't have a lot of police and army in Italy. Uh, how are they gonna control that first? Second, I'm so sorry if I go up and down, but obviously I'm, I'm walking with a dog and she takes priority on this. Um, and you can see my beautiful countryside here. So how are they gonna control that? Second, if we're not allowed to go out, and do you know work like in my case i work taking people around and so on if people like me and i'm not talking about big companies i'm talking about the small workers like us we're not allowed to do our work because it involves tourism and working with people are we gonna earn money and pay for taxes remember that this is gonna be until the third of april and most of us here in venice haven't been working since the 12th of november when we had the big case of the aqua alta now i'm not disputing the imposition at all so please don't start telling me oh baba because i'm not disputing the imposition i'm disputing the fact that how I'm gonna pay my mortgage, how am I gonna pay my bills if the government doesn't stop those. They should, if you lock, out, lock down a country, because you're literally locking down 60, well, I read somewhere 11 million, sometimes they say uh, 60 million is irrelevant. You're locking down Northern Italy, okay? Then you lock down, as you lock down my entries, you should lock down also my exits so uh, you definitely cannot tell me that i have to carry on paying but without having any money coming in what is the government doing about this well we're talking about companies big companies fine yeah of course we're going employers are totally gay but whoa i'm so sorry doggy thingy but what about us what about the small little you know consultants graphic designers tour guides cooking uh, cooking teachers you know consultants you know of all sorts what are we supposed to do uh that's all i'm asking uh as i say 
I totally agree with impositions. We should be able to respect it. It's hard to find when you come out of uh, your house and you find that the actual patisserie in front of your house it was packed with people trying to buy cakes, uh, like uh, there is not tomorrow. <laughs> um, another thing I want to know, if we are blocking everything in and out, the actual big motorway that connects Venice to Turin is the biggest artery in Europe, not just in Italy, for transport because they pass all the goods that come from the east going to the west and vice versa. So explain to me what's gonna happen with that if nobody's supposed to come in and out are you gonna guarantee that the trucks with food are coming in or other necessities or and petrol or is that gonna be stopped nobody said anything about that so they didn't stop the airport they didn't stop the train station so last night panic everybody going out of the regions escaping yeah probably already con you know uh, with a contagious uh, <laughs> with a virus on them i mean come on guys um this is a serious situation but it's gonna be gone more than april uh, guys if you have any ideas please we don't need negativity, so please do not post any negative comments. We got enough of that. I